Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland from Graphic in Motion. In this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my snowy Christmas greetings template. But before we enter the customization process I just want to take a look at the preview or the animation Audio itself. Jungle. So you see Santa Claus is coming with his reindeers uh, flying through the Audio sky jungle. and the sparkly trail reveals a Christmas tree and text the Christmas tree is made of snowflakes and some stars so you know typical Christmas elements and of course you can edit the text you can edit the logo and you can change the style of this animation and I will show you how to do this now so first of all let's say you want to change the logo of course you can disable the logo. You don't have to import the logo, you can just disable it, change the text, but just an example, I will show you how to do this. So we, we want to enter the, your logo here composition, you can find it in the project window here, or it should be already open when you open up the project, so let's go to the your logo here composition. Let's maybe activate the title action save markers, and now I will just import another logo just for demonstration I will move to my folder and import this drag it on top of my placeholder here disable my placeholder scale this down but it's not that big and go to my animation and take a look and you see that it also changes the color um, you can adjust the color I will show you this in a moment maybe it's a little bit too small here because I want to still to see it so let's change it like this and now I just want to move it in the right position and therefore I can just select my your logo here layer and just move it with the cursor over the mouse. Let's say I want this to be around here. But I could also put it anywhere else, you know, like here or in the moon, or whatever. So next step I want to edit the text and therefore I just have to enter my your text here composition. And you see it's just a normal text layer. And I can edit my text by just double clicking the layer and now you can change the text, you can change the font, you can add something maybe like your name and you can of course change the size a little bit. Go back to the animation, let's take a look. Okay, let's say that I like this but I don't like the logo now so I will just disable it and let's say I'm not I'm not doing some corporate marketing here I'm just making a personal video for my family so I would probably just put in my name and now I can stylize the look and therefore I can go to my color controls here you can see there is a layer called color control and in this layer you can see four color sliders or color control panels and the first one I have to go to a frame where we can see any elements is the sparkles of Santa Claus the sparkles that fall from the sky and that reveal the elements here you can change these colors so let's say we want them to be maybe some kind of a golden color so change it to something like this maybe a little bit more intense and let's say I want the Christmas tree also to be golden, so let's take this color. Of course you can enter here and change it a little bit, make it a little bit more intensive. Maybe this is the better color. Because they're all set to add mode, so you know the colors change a little bit. And maybe you also want to change the text to the same color. So just take a color picker, and for the text this is a little bit too much, so we will this make this a little bit a little bit brighter maybe or try to find a nice look so that we get some kind of a golden feeling yeah, maybe like this and of course you can also color your logo I disabled it so I will just bring it back just for the demonstration and I can say I want the same color for my logo but what you also can do of course is just 
I want my logo to be visible inside this animation, but I don't want it to be colored. I want the original color, so it's no problem. You can just go to your logo here, composition, and then just turn off this tint effect. So just click on this effects tag here, and now the effect is disabled and the color of your logo will be the original colors. But I don't want my logo in this greetings, so I just will disable it again. And now you see I changed all the colors and it gives us a, and so we have a little bit of a different look. I'm not quite happy with my text color here, but I don't want to waste your time. So another thing, the last thing I will show you what you can do is I made an overall color correction. So if you select the color correction layer here, you see that there is a curves adjustment active. And if I just disable the effect for now, you see that I created just a little bit more of a contrast. But of course, you can also change this as you wish. Maybe you don't want to have so much contrast. You want to be, you want this to be a little bit brighter. So you can change this here. And of course, you can change RGB values. You can say, I don't want this to be so blue. I want this to have a little bit of a different feeling. So maybe you want it to be like more like this. And you see you have an, a little bit of a different feeling, a little bit of a different look. And you can play around with these settings, of course, and with the colors to create your own style. So this is it. I hope that you like the template. Um, create some nice animations and have fun. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.